Thankfully, gray hair is something I don't have to worry about quite yet. I've found just a few gray hairs. Um, Dan, that bald spot is hidden very well. There's a reason why we don't take camera shots from behind here on GMA. But gray hair and balding are things that most of the population has to deal with at some point in their lives. Or had to. Perhaps it's past tense. Science may make those problems a thing of the past soon. Rob Nelson is here with the good news. Rob, good morning. Good morning. So mean to Dan early in the morning no. here. <laughs> I feel your you pain, hear though. what he says to me. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> well, of course, let's face it, most of us do not like the idea of getting older and the gray hairs and the thinning that sometimes come along with it. But thanks to some medical work right here in New York, your gray days could be fading to black. Hey, okay. hey, hey. Whether it's Seinfeld's George Costanza. Have you noticed people staring at your head? I notice people staring at my head because they like what they see. Or even I, Marge I from The Simpsons. You've been grayer than a Theatel Cinco de Mayo for years now. Really? All of us in some way eventually try and wage war against Father Time, trying our best to hide the gray, or just like poor George, try to restore what age sometimes takes away. Women want to feel beautiful, and men. They want to feel good and they want to feel young. Well, thanks to scientists at New York University, there could finally be a cure for those dreaded gray hairs and even for baldness. We are working with an adult stem cell system. These are the reservoir that supply the color for our hair and skin. In a new study, researchers have isolated a protein called WIT. It basically coordinates between two types of stem cells to help determine hair pigmentation. Early results look good, turning gray-haired mice back to their original dark color. This means that one day the wit protein can be added to hair coloring products, restoring your hair back to its natural color almost permanently. Researchers believe wit could also help with hair regrowth. Folks we spoke to at this salon in the Soho neighborhood in New York City welcomed the news, but weren't exactly holding their breath, and they don't intend to change their colorful ways anytime soon. I would stick to good old highlights and hair color. I don't think I would uh, go that far for my vanity. And I have the best hair colorist <laughs> in the world. <laughs> that helps, right? Yeah. The hair colorist customers a very special relationship. Yes. Guess George will have to keep that toupee, at least for now. Look, I guarantee she won't know. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Gotta love George. Well, there's no telling just yet how long it will actually take for the wind protein to hit store shelves if it ever does at all. But there's, there's no doubt, though, it is a lucrative market out there. Hair color products, Stand and Beyond, are actually a $2 billion a year industry. I believe it. And you know, it kind of is unfair for women because men, they have the distinguished sort of Ron Claiborne look as yeah, they, as they you know, get gray. As <laughs> Not the same for women. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it looks good on women. You don't think so? Yeah. Well, yeah. Nice <laughs> thing to say. Yeah, I don't know.